All right, this is a loser semis. The winner of this goes on to fight uh, Chozo and Ugin in loser's finals, while Prof and Walt wait in grand finals. But in this match, we're seeing Red and Butter go Roy and Falco, like two, two characters you don't see a lot in doubles or just in Smash in general. But they, these guys do have a lot of characters, so I'm interested in seeing what kind of counterpicks they'll make in the future. Absolutely. It's, it's it's these two, they were able to pull off some good chemistry earlier. Um, Pikminator and I, uh, we had went against them and they actually took a set. They, they Both of them seem to mix these characters really well. Yeah, they do have good synergy because they're, they are static partners, whereas Rush and Professor Cube are not static partners. Professor Cube is uh, Austin's number 11. You see, a really good player who came down here for this tournament. But right now, it looks like they're doing uh, Rush and Professor Cube. I would definitely say that they're the better overall average as far as the teams go. I'd say that they're the better singles players, but again, they're not static Ooh. partners. That was a nice up smash from uh, Professor Q. Professor Q also has a Diddy, and Rush also has a Sheik and Luigi. Uh oh, getting that phone call. Red uh, off stage. Rush actually did just let him off stage. Rush let him on stage in return for uh, F Smash his partner. So it was an it was an interesting trade. That Ooh. sour strong down there. Is gonna do it, but this this interesting ledge exchanges from on the left from this Q and Red getting the spin dash new to be. Rush takes stage control from Butter, but doesn't capitalize on it very well. Punished for the F smash, no tech on the F throw. They're not they're not really punishing Ooh. Professor Q's landing option, which is against Sonic is something he really is essential for the matchup. That F smash not gonna quite take him to stop him. Okay, we have not started singles yet. Ooh. That F smash, good DI from Rush though, so it's not going too far. Still gonna make him use the limit though. Spin dashing to uh, punish the with forward air from Red. Of being right out of the bad situation, and again, they're not really punishing his landing floor, which I really think they should start doing. Because if, if, if you can't do that, like, okay, complete stage control from your team. If you can't do that, like, the Sonic match is going to be very difficult for you. Without those incredible back air taking the stock from the Q. Ooh, okay, really that's nice. pretty good there. Yeah, that's that's pretty much like one of the big reasons why Sonic is getting doubles because like it's so easy to follow up off of. Green team at the ledge. Oh, yeah, I, I guess that was an input error. <laughs> Rescue me the not of approval. Okay, really nice DI down and in and tech to off Sonic's down throw. Finishing right in there and comboing his partner accidentally. Ooh. Green team is just playing ping pong with these guys. Oh, back air to back air to air dodge re back air. That's it for Rush. Mm. Oh, he shouldn't have done it. Oh, wow. And it's okay. a sure stock. I, I, Professor Q could have just could have saved him. He shouldn't have done the second hit. Like, he could have spring rode him or up aired him and then gotten back. I don't think he should have done the second hit at that RP. This Rush keeps on the way to save him. But regardless, it, this is definitely anybody's game. The green team can just can play safe here and play properly. And use stage position to their advantage. That was really nice combo. Back throw to back air. It's gonna be up to Roy. 2v1 situation. Right, and you you know Roy a little better than I do. How do you feel about these matchups? Um, honestly, if he's able to... Oh, it's gonna yeah. be right there. As, yeah. you know, despite the game, I'd say if Roy were to play it careful and at least pick him off with a lot of fares, uh, a lot of aerials, um, you know, he may be, per the chance that they try to go in um, after him, he be able to throw out a uh, forward smash or something of the sort. And with that incredible damage and all that damage buildup, you know, he was going to be able to take stocks, but it, unfortunately. And Rush, the classic, taking a phone call. I, I honestly don't know if I've ever been to a tournament with Rush where he hasn't gotten a phone call in the middle of the set. It's, it's essentially just a meme of him now. Like, you can get a phone call every time. 
I'm going to be a few minutes long. Something along those lines. But he took game one, so... I'm still feeling slightly upset ever since last time. He's picking up his phone in the middle of our match. Mm -hmm. I'm hurt. It happens when you play Rush. It's got to be expected. <laughs> I guess you have to take that private phone call. Should be back pretty soon. Ah, you. It's a new. No. That's my horse. That's my horse. That's my horse. <laughs> <laughs> situations. Here we go. And he's back. Texas is wild. Bro. Who would win in a crew battle? Corpus or Japan? I have faith in Corpus. Yeah. What do you think? One jab would probably... Nah. Nah. That, Japan's pretty free. <laughs> <laughs> no Mega Man, no Villager, no Mewtwo, none of that. So sorry. I thought it was Fox. Oh, okay. Okay, I was like, I could have sworn. All right, what are going Fox? I haven't seen his Fox. Oh yeah, both of them play well. It's species, they do really well. Yeah, I'm interested in seeing his Fox. I've never seen it. I don't particularly think Fox is as good in doubles as he is in singles, but still definitely not a bad teammate. So immediately we're looking like we're trading hands with Red. Okay, he's gonna see the damage on the rush here. And then I spot the combos. Maybe that maybe that phone call kinda tilted rush. I don't know what that was about. Uh oh. Maybe he just got fired. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. But yeah, it looks like it looks like Red's pretty comfortable in this matchup. Like he's he was really nice stuff to rush here. Oh yeah, there it is. Soft back there out there is gonna do it. He's certainly given a points for his Falco. He's played throughout the the entire tourney so far and you know, all it's been just good results with him. Yeah. However, Reg just kinda got combo video a little bit there. Like he, he took a did a couple of team combos with two in a row. <laughs> so that can't be healthy for him. Uh, we're seeing Professor Q at Really low percent. He's doing a really good job of tanking, tanking it out. Here. He's doing a really good job of not being hit, which is something Sonic's pretty good at. Ooh. 
I feel like a good partner for Sonic would be someone who has like a, like a top tier neutral, like like Diddy, Sheik, Fox, etc. Because Ooh. I mean. So the, the green teams have two, have like two fresh stocks, so I, I say this game's pretty even. Both blue team are made to high percent, but one to two, one to three stocks. Ooh. That swift back air, dude. God, this back air is godlike. That's insane. But okay, that high side beyond the stage is gonna get punished for butter. Auto canceling that down air. It didn't even look like it was gonna auto cancel me, but. He knows his height better than I do. And Butter auto canceling his down air, baiting Rusty Cube out of shield. Yeah, I don't. I kind of like Butter's box. Like he's doing, he's doing a lot of good stuff. Oh, definitely. In neutral, like pressuring people's shield, just, just purely. You can tell he's like very aware. Um, as soon as Falco starts something up, if the character's in the air, um, Butter is willing to follow up with Fox, you know, looking for that up here or a bear even. Thank you, man. Okay. So yeah, Rush already on his last stock. I mean, maybe that phone call didn't sell him or something. Maybe these things aren't going his way. But again, Rush keeps doing a really good job of tanking. Just as I say that his landing gets caught, that's that's what I was talking about earlier. If you can punish Sonic's landings, it makes things a hell of a lot harder. Ooh. Sacrifice himself to get that dunk. And two stocks of these, like, I mean, this is actually a pretty even game, but Red just needs to preserve this stock. He needs to play safe. But for a character like Papa doesn't have a lot of fast moves, doesn't have a lot of fast movement in general, it's going to be a little difficult. So Butter's just going to have to kind of put in some work here, get some damage before his partner dies. Okay, I like the back air. That was really nice timing on that auto cancel and everything. Tries to rep tries to punish the back air to shoot, but he gets perfect shit to my rush. Ooh. Alrighty, both red and butter needing to play it very careful. Oh, okay, Ooh. he couldn't hold the shield. He had to like roll or something. I, like his only option was to roll away there. It's that she was already done for that cross slash. Ah. I don't know. But anyway, are we gonna see? Yeah. Excellent games to these two teams. Red and Butter had a really nice showing today. But this is where their journey ends.